Welcome back to another StarMade Logic tutorial. My name is Benj and today we're working with our seven segment display module. You can see here uh, this display we did a recent video on and you can grab this from the community content section. It's designed to be able to use our copy paste function to be able to build a lot of really cool things. In this video we're going to be creating a um, team scores. So two digit team scores for two different teams. Look at how do we build that from this. Now I've gone ahead and changed it to blue because one of my teams will be blue and it will save me a little bit of time. But the other thing I need to do is this is basically just exactly how it will load in. If I fly over here I'm just going to grab a little section here because when I copy and paste I want to be able to copy it and paste it off that little edge there. So if I make sure it's the right size I can hit copy and then over here hit paste and paste one section right next to it. And then I'll go ahead, turn paste off, move it over a little bit, and then go and paste one, and then two. And you, one thing you want to note is you want to make sure you've got the um, the components to be able to do that. And I'm in admin at the moment, so it's just going to grab the pieces for me. But if uh, if you're pasting it and you're playing in your own game, you want to make sure that you've got an awful lot of the different logic blocks because um, if I hit F6 here can see there's an awful lot of logic going on in there. Um, but there we go, we've added those sections in. I'm going to turn paste mode off now. I'll grab my heart and hull and just fill in this little section in the front here. And I'll go and I'll we'll grab my red light and we'll change one of the teams to red. So we'll change this team over here. And that's really easy to do. If you haven't watched the other video, we just pull this front section off and then hit C on these um, all gates here. And then we can find what um, LED section counts for what. But you can see it's pretty practical. You can see where it is. And now after placing it, I'm just hitting R on them just to switch them off. Just because otherwise I'll have to switch them off later, run the circuit to be able to do that. It's just easier if I fly there and turn it off myself. So we'll go there, the last one for this number, off, 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 and then I'll replace the front panel. Like so. So it's really easy to do. And again, we'll pull this front panel off. And we will replace them. Now, these are actually designed and facing a certain way. Now, we won't be offering the full component facing in different orientations, but we will soon be releasing some options to be able to download an additional package, which includes this front face orientated in all the other different directions so you could come and grab it in the direction you want and then all you need to do is pull the front panel off off the existing one or pull these little boxes off and then use those OR gates and instead of just connecting them to the lights you'd connect them to the OR gate on your other panel and that way you could have these panels somewhere else if need be but for now let's uh let's get into this so I'm just going to extend the front out and put red and blue there so I know where things are. And then I'll put an activation module on each. So what I've got here is I'm going to have one for the scores for this side. I have one for the scores for this side. And I've got a clear which will just reset everything. And what I'm going to do is come under here and just extend them so they don't run into the display because that can be the worst is just running them into the display and that kind of sucks all right there we go so i've extended them and now what i'm going to do is just grab the clear i'm going to hook the clear up to the clear so if we look over here you can see the clear all is this one here so we're going to fly through and put it into all of them like so so we clear everything as need be Next, we're going to grab the um, activation module here that we've extended from this one, and this is going to be my plus one score, and we're going to put it on the right digit of each of them. 
So in this case, this is the red one, and it goes into the plus one, which is that one there. It's the one to the far right closest. And you'll see some of these uh, display modules don't have titles. That's just the way things have gone with this update. They don't have it set up yet. All right, so there we go. We've got that all set up. We've got L2 feeding in. Next, what we need to do is hook up the plus to the next digit. So we're going to fly over here and we're going to grab the top one here, which is uh, the nine, number nine output on plus one. So we're going to go from a number nine to a 10. And so we want to trigger this next one to do an update as well. So we're going to hit C on that, fly over, and we're going to paste that into here, which is our plus one OR gate. Now again on this side, we're going to grab that, and we're going to fly over and put it into the plus one of the OR gate there. Now finally what we'll do is we'll fly over here and we're going to go to our um, restarted output. And we're going to go and put that into V0 on the back, which is that one there. And we'll do that for the other side as well. So we're going to put it into the pulse input to select instant zero. And what that means is that when we're going from a cleared mode, which is what we're in now because nothing's on the screens, um, it's going to trigger those first, the second digits to go straight to zero. So now that's really, that's all you need to do to set this up. So we can do a clear if we want to make sure that everything's clear. But then if we start hitting the buttons, You'll see, um, now this is going to toggle just because it needs to toggle through. And there we go, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. And we'll do the other one. Zero, one, two. Now, when you first initially set it up, you might find that you... Um, your activation module doesn't do anything, and that's purely because the state it's in might not be matching the other state that it needs to be in. So you'll see, and we'll keep going just to make sure that our digits are working, and they're working fine. Now if we hit clear, everything clears, and if we go again, we can start again, which is sweet. So that's it. That's how you build a, a score timer. Well, not a timer. Uh, team scores using our new seven segment display. And uh, with some easy hooking up there, you can see there's not too many connections at all used. And we can get it outputting what we want it to do. But until next time, my name is Bench and uh, keep playing. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.